Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a practical guide. We will connect your Flutter app to a Microsoft SQL Server database. This allows your app to store and retrieve data effectively. Let's get started. First, understand the landscape. Flutter, being a mobile UI framework, cannot directly connect to SQL Server. We need a middleman, a server-side API. Think of it like a translator. The API receives requests from Flutter, talks to the SQL Server, and sends back the results. The first step is setting up your SQL Server. Ensure SQL Server is running. You'll need the server address, database name, username, and password. Keep these details safe. Next, choose your backend technology. Popular choices are Node.js with Express, Python with Flask or Django, or .NET Core. For this tutorial, let's assume you are using .NET Core. Create a new .NET Core web API project. Install the necessary NuGet packages, such as Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore and Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL Server. Define your data models. These models represent the tables in your SQL Server database. Use Entity Framework Core to map these models to your database tables. Create a database context. This context manages the connection to the SQL Server and allows you to query and update data. Now, build your API endpoints. These endpoints will handle requests from your Flutter app. For example, you might have an endpoint to get all users, create a new user, or update an existing user. Within each endpoint, use Entity Framework Core to interact with your SQL Server database. Return the data as JSON. It is the standard format for web APIs. Secure your API. Implement authentication and authorization to protect your data. Deploy your API to a server. This server needs to be accessible from your Flutter app. Now let's move to Flutter. Add the HTTP package to your Flutter project. This package allows you to make HTTP requests to your API. Create functions in your Flutter app to call your API endpoints. Use the HTTP package to send GET, POST, PUT, and DELETE requests. Parse the JSON response from the API and display the data in your Flutter app. Handle errors gracefully. Show error messages to the user if something goes wrong. Test your connection thoroughly. Make sure data is being stored and retrieved correctly. Consider using a state management solution. Something like provider or block. This will help manage the data flow in your Flutter app. Remember to handle data securely in your Flutter app as well. Avoid storing sensitive information directly in your app. And that's it. You've successfully connected your Flutter app to a Microsoft SQL Server database. This opens up many possibilities for your app. You can now store and retrieve data, manage user accounts, and much more. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps me create more content like this. Also, feel free to leave comments with suggestions for future video topics.